Chapter 11, Learning Objective 1. Explain the purpose of the statement of cash flows. Let's begin this learning objective by identifying a key premise related to profitability and cash flows. Profitable businesses can be short of cash. This can be caused by any number of reasons such as large amounts of inventory or accounts receivable. The point is that without cash, a company cannot succeed. The purpose of the Statement of Cash Flows, or SCF, is to identify the sources, inflows, and uses, outflows, of cash during an accounting period. These inflows and outflows are grouped into operating, investing, and financing activities. The sum of these three groups explains the difference between the opening and closing cash balance for the accounting period. Management can use cash flow information to make decisions. For example, can the company afford to buy equipment or expand its operations? Does the company have enough cash to retire some of its long-term debt that is due? Is there enough cash to pay dividends to the shareholders as a return on their investment? Can the company survive these adverse economic conditions? In addition to company management, potential creditors and investors can also use cash flow information to make decisions about a corporation's financial performance. Reported cash flows can sometimes be an indicator of future cash flows, though there are some risks, since the data is strictly historical, not prospective. While it might seem obvious, it is important for us to have a clear understanding of exactly what cash is when it comes to the cash flow statement. As it turns out, cash is comprised of, not only cash in the traditional sense, but also cash equivalents. Management judgment is required when identifying cash equivalents and this basis is to be disclosed in the SCF or notes. Generally speaking, cash and cash equivalents represent the sum of the assets that are not subject to significant risk and can be quickly converted into known amounts of cash. Thus, cash and cash equivalents can include cash on hand and on deposit in financial institutions as well as petty cash. Cash equivalents generally include short-term investments three months or less from the date of acquisition. Here is an example of a note disclosure for cash and cash equivalents. Note X, cash and cash equivalents consist of cash on deposit and short-term investments held for the purposes of meeting cash commitments within three months from the balance sheet date. Cash and cash equivalents consist of the following amounts for the years ended 2023, 2024, and 2025. Here is an example of a balance sheet at December 31, 2023 for Wellbum Services Limited. Along with a statement of cash flows for the year ended December 31, 2023. The cash flow shows net cash used in operating activities of $26,200, net cash used by investing activities of $25,000, and net cash received by financing activities of $110,000, for a net increase in cash of $58,800. When added to the cash balance at the beginning of the year on January 1st of $76,000, the ending cash balance at the end of the year, December 31st is $135,000. It is very important to note that the cash balance on the balance sheet must equal the ending cash balance on the statement of cash flows.